okay, it's time for a little bit of horsey playtime, I think. It's been a little while since the last one. It's time to do another one. So, let's chuck some horses out. See how it goes.
It's hard to even see anymore, is it? It's so cloudy. I don't know. I'll just put you guys here. I got one more horse to go. Okay, that is finally all of them. So let's talk horsey stuff. Let's see if I can get in here without too much trouble from anybody. Hello, Gracie. Hello, Peggy. How can I help you? <laughs> Peggy, what, what's happening? What are you doing? This is odd. I've never had Peggy do this before. How far will she follow me? Oop. Somebody's coming up behind me. I think it's Rue. There he is. Okay, so everybody's in finally. It's a little dry as you can tell. Uh, we've had some pretty good weather. Um, you know, uh, dry weather. We had a rain yesterday and that's about it. After that it's been, um, or before that and then after that it's been what we see right now. Literally cloudless skies. About sort of early evening. Crazy. I met her butter today. What do we even do with her? So yeah, so uh, it's been hot. Trying not to put the horses out. Oh, Rue's got to get moving. This Roni says, get out of the way, we're walking through here. <laughs> okay. And, uh, hot. So I'm trying to put the horses out in the evening. Or, uh, in the afternoon. Because it's just quite, quite hot. And, uh, and so it's either morning or evening. And the morning was very busy. A lot of trimming going on today um, and uh, the random things so that's why it's evening oh manners is getting mad at Roo. get out of there buddy says I'm shuffling oh here comes really nope passing by and then the nutter butter of the day. Boy, she sure was jumping around and bucking and kicking out and all kinds of stuff. Let's see if she comes over. I wonder if she needs any scratches. Nope. But Peggy sure was interested. That was kind of that was kind of fun walking away from her and having that much draw. I wonder if she was expecting me to do something other than walk away. Curious. I was getting told where to go. Anyway, so we've got uh, everybody in. Um, rather important. Been talking to people lately about horse socialization, getting them out together to, uh, well, in this case, co-groom. If you're new to this channel, these two are avid co-groomers. Hard to tell them. Can't <laughs> run, Rue. 
she's a crazy one. I already told him to take off. Coming through with his girlfriend. But they're all up here. You know, they have an opportunity to take off. There's a lot more space here. A lot more space. But what do they do? They all hang out together. Look out, buddy. Manor's moving. I'm going to try to put myself on the other side of the sun a little bit here. Need some better exposure. It's too bright this way. These things are in here doing lessons. As you can see, they're all lined up. You know, sometimes we do some weaving, sometimes we do some archery. All kinds of stuff to do around here. Oh. Nanner, bite him. He deserves it. But yeah, they'll co-groom. So socialization is super important. Co-grooming, scratching, um, lots of chit chat, relationship. There's no playing with posts though. I gotta take these things out when I after I put the camera away. So we'll see what we can capture. A little bit of uh, interesting look. Gracie's looking for some attention from Luke. But she can't quite get it. And uh, so part of the socialization observation. Oh, look at these two adorable ones. See, the camera just won't expose correctly. There, I get a little bit of Peggy's detail. But then Lena gets blown out. Need a better camera. It's called dynamic range. The amount of lights and darks you can have in an image. This camera is not... If Rue starts, if he knocks that thing over, he's going to be in trouble. He's going to be in big trouble. And Nanners is a giraffe. He says, I can reach, I can reach it, I can do it. I've got it, get it. Nom, 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 nom. Two leaves, totally worth it. Yeah. Um, so observing these guys socialize is... I find rather important and acclimating yourself to um, horse horse behaviors horse uh, safety so being when you when you're around horses uh, can you be prepared to that is a noisy airplane it's a bad thing put a muffler on it anyhow um, so, you know, when you're out and about in, the, in, in an area with more than one horse, it's super important that we... Oh, see, we understand that, you know, when, when another horse comes over, they might push what would be a lower horse. So Ruby's a bit of a lower horse. She's not the lowest, but, you know, she's lower. She says, no problem, I'll move. Oh, here comes Roni. So he wants to get back over to Ruby. You have to recognize that, right? It's a common thing if you're used to it. Oh, looks going down. If you've been on this channel for a little while, you already know most of the habits of these guys, which is incredibly important. He's going to scritchy scratch his tummy a little. This is what a horse looks like when they're scratching their tummy. They sort of pull themselves along in the dirt or the sand. And roly poly. Think you'll make it over? Luke is only a $500 horse. In case anybody was wondering, I paid 500 bucks for him. It was an adoption fee. And, uh... Just squished a mosquito. That's good. One less. Yeah. An adoption fee for him. Because he was a rescue. Came from a rescue place. Nobody wanted him. So that's why he doesn't roll all the way over. But he sure is an awful lot of fun. Get her, get her, Luke. Push her. I'll get out of the way. So I'm going to make a move this way. Backwards. Out of the way. Instead of uh, standing my ground, I chose to walk away. And, you know, oh, look at that. See? And so you definitely don't want to be, you know, even though I'm backing off, I backed off from that. But we'd want to recognize that when we're hanging around horses, we wouldn't want to be the one getting pushed around. So, um, and another thing that I was talking about in a lesson recently is when you are around horses, um, you want to you want to 
Let's see, you want to sort of be safer. Doesn't mean you're going to actually be safe. You want to be safer if the horses that you are around look at you and think that you are not to be moved. So plenty of times you'll have a horse with you and another horse will want to come over and do something with your horse and you'll have the ability to say no. Hello. What can I help you with? She's got quite the suntan. Darker around her eyeballs. We'll back off, we're too close. And zoom out. Um, and, and that will 100% uh, help. Doesn't mean it will be 100%. <laughs> oh jeez. Yikes. Here they come. Roni's making a move. Goes over to Lena. Gracie didn't move through all that. She says, yeah, whatever. Peggy's coming in. She definitely moves for Peggy. Right? Luke's pushing Peggy. And all of these, all of these interactions, every one horse pushing another horse, pushing, you know, if you don't pay attention to that, there's a pretty good chance you might get squished. You know. And that's not safe. So not only do we observe them because it is good fun to watch horses talk with each other. Ooh, I wonder what's going to happen with these two. Cool. Look out, Roni! There he goes. Got to get back over to Lena. Got pushed off, I guess, by Nanners. Nanners is kind of the, the lead horse here. At least she's the most aggressive. I don't think she has that much of an effect on Gracie. Well, let's find out. Let's see what happens here. Oh, here comes Ruli. Hello, Ruli. See, I backed away and sort of tried to draw her in a little bit, and it actually worked. Ah, you're <laughs> running me over. Okay, I got out of the way. Is that a good thing? Yeah. Nope. What happened? Oh, Rue's definitely going to have to move. Although sometimes Gracie goes in quietly. Just going to bite him on his butt. He might be drawing her a little bit. He says, hey, come sniff what I'm sniffing over here. It's pretty cool. We're looking at something in the forest. And there's a noise over that way. I don't know. Hmm. Anyhow. Yeah, so Nanners is kind of the highest. She's 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 definitely um, seems to have the most power amongst all these horses. She can make all of them move. Let's see what she's going to do. Let's see what she's thinking about. She's going to go down to the back for some reason. Well, maybe not. But we'd observe that. We'd want to know that. If you're going into a herd of horses, you're going to want to know who's high horse. Who's a low horse. <laughs> Essentially, who do you not want to hang around with? But, that said, you do want to be essentially the high horse of of the herd. Um, as humans, you know, it's easy to be the high horse. I guess, you know, we're not really a high horse, but the, the highest on the hierarchy of power or leadership. Or, um, so another way to put it, sort of influence. Well, let's see what happens here. I knew something was going to happen. Wow. Oh, Nanners. It's going to get dusty. Ah, what do you want? Go away. It's important to stay safe. Hello, Peggy. <laughs> are you coming to me or are you going away? Good, good. Nope. Luke and Roni might have an argument. It's kind of a nice shot with a bit of atmosphere in it, isn't it? Roni's making way, his way over to Ruli again. Why, you know? What? Such a good attachment there. Let's see what happens. Anything? Got a few uh, flies and skeeters, and for everybody who has given some fantastic input on all that uh, 
mosquito spray and water buckets and stuff all that input I'm really appreciative wow look at him go he's a busy guy uh, super appreciative I really really I was talking to a few people about just the community of of this channel is I mean it really came together especially with Kathy helping out in the very beginning actually she kicked this off with a link to a great video with the ingredients and sent over some ingredients for us and uh, it has been successful you know and all the help and all the ideas I actually want to do a little bit of experience oh I think uh, I think Gracie's in heat a little here comes Nanners. She says, what's happening here? Whoa, that was fast. See, but Nanners can make her move. All she had to do was sort of twist her butt a little bit to the side. If you rewind, you'll see there's a little hip movement there. She says, don't you kick at me. Don't make me turn my hip a little. You know, and then there's respect there. It's not so bad. Will Gracie kick out again? I doubt it. That's the relationship. There's a smile. She's happy. I always want to see happy horses around here. <laughs> Kidding, it's the Fleeman response. Don't everybody put it in the comments. She's not smiling. Yes, she is. Skeeters around. I have to fend them off while I'm standing here with the camera. So bear with me if it goes shaky for a minute. Just trying to get rid of skeeters. I don't want to get chewed on. And I forgot my mosquito spray for me. But. <laughs> Really. Um, but it works great on the horses, so I'm really happy about that. Super happy for the horses, because they were pretty troubled. I think Lena was almost the worst, or the hardest, I don't know, hardest hit, but most bothered. Right, Lena? This is, I love you. Thanks for the fly spray, or mosquito spray. Uh, yeah, anyways, fantastic. Thanks to everybody. Again, as I was saying, oh, oh here comes the nanners. The community spirit on this channel is just amazing. I love it. Um, been really, really uh, nice to be, to have everybody be a part of it. And I'm glad I've you know, got this here. <laughs> What's happening between these two? What are you guys doing? Nanners, what are you doing? So I'm following around the other six-year-old, like a couple of kids. That's nice. All right. Who's on the bridge? He loves that bridge. I don't know why. Oh, well, back to being a giraffe. She's really got it now. Great job, Nanners. It's uh, the bonus of being tall and having a long neck. Here comes Rue. What's up, buddy? I don't think I have anything for you. I'd give you a pet, get rid of that skeeter for you. That said, though, you guys are. What? I can't help you. No. I'm not an overly helpful camera guy. I'm just the camera guy. Get it Nanners, that thing's growing like crazy. I don't know what kind of tree it is or bush it is, but it sure grows fast. If you're new here and you've watched this far, this is Gracie. She's a six-year-old Arabian, registered. She loves scratches. This Nanners, or Ohana, actually. Oh, Rue, get out of there, buddy. Go, go, go. It was a close one. That's Rue. Rue is, uh, we don't really know what he is. Um, you know, he's some kind of horse. Uh, Ohana was a Percheron. This is Roni. Hi, buddy. Do you need a pet? He says, nope. I'm really worried. Everybody. Wow, that's a nice shot. Hello, Ruli. Ruli's in a Appaloosa. She says, get that skeeter for me. Okay. She's a lovely horse. 
Yeah, they really bite it. <laughs> uh, eight year old, 23 year old, nine year old, six year old Arabian registered. Roni is a quarter horse registered. Appaloosa registered. I don't know. I don't remember. She's not mine. Rue's also not mine. He's boarded here. So is uh, Ruli. Roni's mine. Gracie's mine. Luke's mine. Luke is an appendix. As I was saying, he's rescue for uh, reasons of he's too, too rambunctious was the original reasoning. Is he licking the antlers? <coughs> Ooh, somebody's yelling. Needs a camera to make a change here. There we go. <coughs> Why are you licking? I wonder if Nana is wondering the same things. What are you doing? You strange appendix. Luke's eight. Somebody's behind me. That's Rue. <coughs> Whoa! Gee whiz! Nice and speedy guy though. He never gets caught. Man, Nanners, you don't like cows? I call him a cow because he's spotted like a cow, like like Lena. Oh, camera ran out of time there. It only records for 29 minutes and 29 seconds. Anyhow, it's just about to say. It makes you wonder what what causes Nanners to want to chase him off. What's with that? You know. It's matter, Nans. You don't like Rue very much? Seem to like him if it's just the two. Why is your forehead wet? Your forehead's wet. That is weird. Somebody lick you on the forehead? It's strange. I don't even know if I can capture that. There, it's a little see, a little shiny. <laughs> Somebody licked you on the forehead. Weird. Um, you know, they've all got, oh, get out of there. Girls have got to go. Lena, the other cow. What the? She's telling Piggy where to go. These guys have to move. But this matters. You know, I couldn't be in here if I couldn't at least partially predict this stuff. Here comes Peggy. Hello, Peggy. Peggy's a Palomino quarter horse. Peggy, how old are you? One, two, three. She's nodding. What count that is? She's not. I don't know how old she is. I think she's nine. I'd have to double check. I can never remember. I ask and then I forget. Peggy's pretty good looking. You know, nice horse, friendly, in shape, runs around a lot. It's kind of somewhere in the middle of the hierarchy. So, lives with Gracie. Yeah. Gracie, I don't know if I would trouble Ruby too much. And then what do they do that for? Why why half on the like what's with that? It's like front feet on the bridge, back feet on the sand. Oh, you did not just do that. Rue, you're in trouble. You better get moving, buddy. Go on. Oh. Poor, poor post. Let's pick it up. He's um, he's quite playful with stuff. He likes to knock things down or pick them up or move them around. So it's uh, it's got quiet. Everybody sort of figured themselves out. There's some co-grooming going on. Oh boy, here comes trouble. Bonk. Why? Why, Gracie? Yeah. Nope. We gotta back off. Don't wanna get whacked. Okay, we'll give her some scratches. Let's train her to train me. Scratch her tail a little. So yeah, so she loves some good butt scratches, tail scratches, you know. I'm going to come off to the side a little here, just in case. 
A lot of people worry about being behind a horse. It's actually uh, true. I mean, it's a good thing to stay away from. You don't want to surprise them. Usually they get pretty worried. Somebody needs to wash her legs. They're all dirty. Not that big of a deal. But anyways, when you're behind a horse, it's not so much these kicking things. Actually, is that the tail here, you know, it, it can, you know, hang on. Can you hear that? It can be pretty swishy, and so... Here, I better give her a scratch for being so good. Huh. I don't know if I can get her to respond. But uh, be pretty swishy, and that thing will whack you in the face or something like that, and it's pretty painful. Obviously not as painful as getting kicked, but getting kicked is very unusual. You'd have to be... You'd have to really startle a horse or make them fearful to want to give, them, give you a kick. Not that I haven't seen enough videos of people being kicked. People ask me to look at videos and tell me what they tell them what I think. Why did this happen? What caused this? What could you do? Well, don't make your horse afraid of you. Don't attack them. Um, one thing that uh, you don't want to do if you're. Uh, uh oh. Watch out, Gracie. Ronnie's got his ears back. He says, I'm not interested. What's the owner's doing? Just hanging out on the bridge. Okay. Anyhow, um, what was I saying? Kicking, right. Usually it happens when somebody's training a horse or working with a horse or falling off a horse or something and they want to get mad at them and they go and chase them down and just as they get close enough to whack them with their stick or, you know, crop or something Horse kicks out, bam! <coughs> oh, it's a lot of yelling. Some screechy dinosaurs all around. It's like two orange horses and part orange. Let's see what happens. Hmm, not much. That was a talk and then uh, dispersal. I don't know if really it's coming to me. Let's find out. Oh, manners on the move. So, you know, what, what you don't want to do is you don't want to chase a horse down. And... See, Nanners is too, way too slow for Rue. But now... She's got Gracie. She says, Gracie, you're with me. Gracie says, I'm with this guy. What are you talking about? So will Nanners push her while I'm here is the question. This goes back to that state. Oh, she's backing up. I'm gonna make myself a little more visible here. Make a little move. You know, am I in danger? In, in in many cases, if I didn't know these horses, I would think, yeah. Even though I do know these horses, I think, yeah, a little dangerous. But I think Ohana's really sort of checking out and making sure that Rue's not making a move up from behind there. And uh, the reality is, is that uh, these two are quite content to be hanging out right here. Gracie with me, Ohana with her. And uh, I'm gonna go a little bit more to this way. See what happens. She can leave. You know, she could go that way because there, there it is. So uh, it's... Hello big girl, how can I help you today? Do you need some, some kind of... Do you need a script? Do you need a squishy scratch? Can I rub your eye a little? She says, don't touch my eye. And she's gone. She's got an escape. She's got a way out, right? So that's another reason why horses kick. They don't have a they don't have a way out. Good grief. Bam! Butt punch. If I was still standing there. Okay. <laughs> I am well trained. I'm one of those well-trained humans. Trust. A lot of trust. Trust on both parts, her part and mine. You know, to be back here and you gotta appreciate that a little bit overall for both their sake and yours. And to say thank you. I promise I'll treat you well. Don't kick me, because you have no reason to. You don't want to give a horse a reason to kick you. You want to be their friend. Never think to 
kick and have you leave if you're a good friend. Let's see if she does it one more time or she leaves. Here she comes. Touch. Oh, she's coming a little bit much. She's off. Maybe she'll give Rue a hard time. Let's find out. She's not, she doesn't want him to leave. You can tell she's not really looking for him to take off. She went ahead a little bit. Oh, he's like, I don't know. You girls are kind of... Hey, when did he knock that thing down again? Horses, eh? Especially that guy. Okay, off they go. Let's go pick up our standard. Homemade at that. I did a video about it, if anybody's wondering how to make these things. But not too hard. This is a simple one. A couple 2x4s. Another half a 2x4 on the ground there. A bunch of screws. Good as... Ooh. That looks nice. Damn. Anyhow. Oh, there it is. Yeah, see, they finally made it together. Oh, that's a lot of screeching. Why do they screech? What's with that? I don't know. That's that. We just gotta go pee. Well, we won't film that part. These uh, six have paired off regularly. Well, Hannah and Luke are generally together. Luke kind of goes between the girls though. And Roni picks between uh, Ruli and Lena. Depending on who's alone at the time, he just kind of goes. Oh, I was making her way down, you could tell, and then he turned off. Okay, hey, man, wanna hang out together? If you can keep that big Pertron away from me? I could try, if you stop knocking over my standards. So, stay down at the back here a little bit. Ah, I just got bumped. Why'd you headbutt me? You're in big trouble. No headbutting. I know. There's a couple skeeters here and there. We'll have to put the fly spray on soon. Homemade fly spray. Back to that topic again. That thing, that stuff is working great. Really happy with it. I'm going to uh, apply it to these guys pretty soon. Anyhow, I think we've gone on for quite a while now. Gorgeous evening. Just a lovely, warm, you know, comfortable, comfortable uh, temperature evening. Did a lot of trimming today. Trimmed four horses. Made it into the pool for a quick cool off. Back outside, more work. Get the horses out for socialization and exercise. What's going on, Roni? You think you got enough draw, buddy? Is she gonna follow you? Or is she coming over here? He really says I'm itchy and I want to scratch, but get it. Yep, he's got enough draw. What is that? I think something broke. I think that's a broken machine. Because they've stopped. Hey! Get out of here. It'll be the third time you knock it over. Let's chase them off. Off he goes. <sighs> like two best buds. <coughs> oh, not those two. Looks busy. Well, Hannah can't get in on that. What the? Maybe she will, though. Let's see. She's going to take back her Luke. Piggy's moving. Hierarchy. Very, very important to understand and be part of. You don't want to be apart from it. You definitely want to be a part of it if you can. Have an influence. 
Horses will understand your intent, hopefully, what you want. Luke's a busy guy. He's got all the girls. Oh, he has to move. See the hip come in? Well, what do you want? So he sends Lena back a little bit. So let's switch positions a little. If you do so, I can continue. So that's good. Anyways, getting a little tired of camera holding for one. <laughs> my tired Arabian. Let's have another yawn. She had just had finished one. Usually they come in twos, unless I missed the first one. Uh oh, really is not going to like that. <laughs> okay, that's it. Hopefully this has been a little bit entertaining and interesting, watching the horses do their thing. Trying out a slightly different camera system as well. Oh, better move it, Gracie. You're in trouble now. Actually, I think Peggy's in trouble. Nana, you push everybody around. Because you're so big and amazing. Yeah. Do you need a screechy scratch yet? I'll touch your eyeball. Aww. Come here. Hi, Nanners. She's such a good horsey. You just pick them up on the eyeball. Just gently. Watch out for that guy. I know, I know. It's okay. It's okay. You could have a sleep if you want. What do you think? Just some quiet, light touches. Can't. It's just tips, tips of your fingers. There we go. Just something quiet, nice. And she's off. Hmm. Okay, well, that's cute. I wonder if I should make that the thumbnail. Not that one. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny. Maybe that one. And uh, Rue's on his own. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. And thanks again for being such a great community. People helping out with uh, that fly spray business and all the suggestions for buckets and environment and planting plants and there's tons of stuff. I'm going to try to put all my all the hints together into or all the tips or tricks or ideas into a video and get it out there for everybody. Always giving back when they can. What's happening? Oh, there's some serious ears for a second there. So I'm not sharing Luke. Okay. All right. All right. That's it for now. Uh, see you guys again in the next video.